Hello, we're going to make a video and uh, this video will demonstrate how to set up Groby Mech so MATLAB can use the functionality of the Groby Optimizer and I misspelled Groby here, I'll fix that there we go, okay um, just uh, for a little review here uh, there's something called the Groby Optimizer and it's a state-of-the-art mathematical programming solver and it has all kinds of really cool stuff that people who do research like to use and uh, in order to use that with MATLAB you have to use this thing called Groby Mech which will uh, integrate the uh, uh, it will allow you to integrate Groby into MATLAB so you can use it with MATLAB okay so um, the first thing I'm going to do here in order to make this connection, I'm going to go over to a machine that I know that has um, Groby and uh, Groby Mech and MATLAB on it. Okay, and um, so first thing I'm going to do here uh, is uh, just take a quick look at this, my setup. So I'm going into the OPT file, and you can see I have MATLAB installed under one director under under the OPT, <coughs> and Groby 565 installed under another directory. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick MATLAB off and get the GUI. Excuse me. Here we go. And we're getting the GUI with MATLAB. Now, uh, you do want to kind of go in with uh, uh, the uh, with root uh, to make this connection. Uh, it'll make your life a little bit easier. Uh, you can do this under a regular user, but it works better uh, under root. So now we're going to do a change directory into the uh, Groby file, and then you can use the autocomplete inside of MATLAB. And we're going into Linux 64, and we're going to go into the MATLAB directory under that. Uh, we're going to run something called Groby setup.m so we can just type Groby underscore setup and it will look for the Groby setup.m if we hit enter okay and it went ahead and um, made some settings uh, and connections uh, if we want to do this over again without if we want to use Groby on multiple IDs uh, and uh, we don't want to have to go in and run this again. What we want to do is run this thing here called save path. Okay, and uh, the save path will put the uh, uh, Groby path into the path definition file. And uh, we can quit out of here. And uh, and I forget the name of the file I forget what the name of the file is here this isn't anything you have to do okay and then if we go into local and if we take a look at this path definition file there we go uh, there we go if we look in the path definition file uh, you can see here that it put the uh, Groby directory up at the top. And that's one of the main things that running that Groby setup does. Uh, 
Okay, and so it looks like that worked. Um, we're going to test it in the next video from a user ID to make sure that this worked. And um, so that's pretty much all there is to making that connection. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and thanks for listening.